Greetings, history enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the fascinating and lesser-known stories of the past. Today, we embark on a journey to explore a topic that has long been shrouded in mystery and controversy, the untold story about inbreeding. Throughout history, many noble families and royal dynasties have faced the consequences of this practice, with intriguing tales and consequences that continue to echo through the ages. So, without further ado, Let's unravel the secrets behind this taboo subject. Number 1. Understanding and Breeding To grasp the significance of this historical practice, we must first understand what inbreeding entails. Inbreeding refers to the mating of individuals who are closely related, such as cousins or siblings. While it might seem unthinkable today, it had a different context in the past. The practice was often driven by the desire to maintain purity within royal bloodlines, consolidate power, and ensure inheritance of wealth and titles. Number 2. Ancient Egypt and Dynastic Marriages Our journey takes us back to ancient Egypt, where inbreeding was common among the pharaohs. The concept of divine bloodlines led them to marry their siblings, ensuring that their successors were of direct royal descent. The infamous Cleopatra was a product of such unions, married to her younger brother, Ptolemy XIV, to strengthen their grip on the throne. Number 3. European Royal Houses Now let's fast forward to the European medieval and Renaissance eras, where inbreeding was even more prevalent. The Royal Houses of Habsburg, Valois, and Tudor are just a few examples of families deeply affected by this practice. These unions were seen as strategic alliances between kingdoms, and they often led to numerous health issues and power struggles. Number 4. The Habsburg Jaw The Habsburgs, in particular, provide a compelling case study their quest to keep their bloodline pure resulted in significant consanguinity. Over time, they developed distinct facial features, including the notorious Habsburg jaw, a prominent lower jaw that affected many family members. This distinctive trait became a symbol of both their power and the consequences of inbreeding. Number 5. The Price of Power While inbreeding was believed to safeguard power and wealth within royal families, it came at high cost. The prevalence of genetic disorders and disabilities among the offspring was not only tragic but also weakened their grip on power. Succession wars and instability often followed, as the lack of healthy heirs led to the decline of once mighty dynasties. Number 6. Breaking the Cycle Despite the devastating effects of inbreeding, some rulers sought to break the cycle. Queen Victoria of England, known as the Grandmother of Europe, actively encouraged her descendants to marry into other European royal houses to diversify the gene pool. This decision had a profound impact on European history and the modern monarchy. Number 7. The End of an Era As time went on, societal norms began to shift, and the negative consequences of inbreeding became widely recognized. With advancements in science and medicine, the true toll of this practice became apparent, leading to a decline in its prevalence. Today, many countries have laws prohibiting marriage between close relatives. Conclusion The story of inbreeding in history is a cautionary tale about the balance between tradition and progress. While the pursuit of power and purity drove many noble families to practice consanguineous marriages, it ultimately led to their downfall. As we explore these untold stories, we're reminded of the importance of learning from the past and embracing diversity to create a stronger and healthier future. Thank you for joining us on this intriguing historical journey. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share it with other history enthusiasts. Until next time, remember the past has much to teach us, and it's our duty to listen. Stay curious and keep exploring.